up Sailor Senshi, my name is Sailor Snubs, welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. As you know, I have a proxy shipper and buyer in Japan, and this person goes to like the Sailor Moon store and goes to all the events to pick up items that I want that are usually limited edition, and then he'll package them all up and send them over to me here in America since I don't have access to those items here in the United States. So one of the events that happened this year in 2018 was the Sailor Moon Classic Concert. They did a classic concert back in 2017 as well and I picked up one of those CDs but this year I figured I wanted to get some of the limited edition items that you could only find at the event so you had to be there in person to buy these things. Now some of these items did end up getting released at the Sailor Moon store or through the Japanese fan club so you can find them now if you have a Japanese fan club or if you end up visiting Tokyo and going to the Sailor Moon store but if you don't you can also sometimes find these on eBay as well but they usually end up being a higher price or Mandrake which is a little bit more fair of a price. So I'm gonna go ahead and break into this box over here and show you what I got from the classic concert for 2018. So first I did get a few little things, like I got this Sailor Moon classic concert 2018, uh, just a little microfiber towel, and I thought it was super cute, so I wanted to get it. I liked all the music notes. I used to be in choirs, so that's kind of reminiscent of my past, and I really enjoyed those. I also got a couple of pens, just very simply, they are pens, and they both say Sailor Moon classic concert 2018 on them and then they have little silhouettes of Luna and Artemis. A couple more smaller items I got a series of postcards so I'll go ahead and open those and show you what they look like. So these postcards come in a window display and they feature each of the Sailor Senshi as if they are a part of an orchestra. So first we have Sailor Moon who is the conductor, then we have Amy who is playing I think it's the clarinet, we have Ray who is playing I think that's the oboe, Makoto who is playing the trombone, Minako who is playing, is that a tuba? I don't remember. <laughs> Chibi Moon who's playing the triangle, Haruka is playing the piano, Michiru of course has her violin, Setsuna is playing the really big one, what is that called? I don't remember. And then Hotaru also has a little violin. So we have each of the Sailor Senshi, no tuxedo mask. This is the classic concert series keychain that came out this year. It says Tokyo and Osaka, so it has the dates of the Sailor Moon class classic concert on the back of it. And then the front has this really cool 1990s inspired art, which is the reason why I wanted to get it is because you don't see that kind of art all the time unless it's like a vintage item. So I thought this was really, really pretty and I really enjoyed the art. The next item I got is a pair of clear files. So first we have a boring clear file, which features Sailor Moon Classic Concert 2018 on the front with the silhouette of the uh, orchestrated Sailor Moon on there. There's a bunch of instruments on it, as well as some cute little Sailor Moon vibes. The one that I really liked was the second clear file, which says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Classic Concert 2018, and it has the same kind of art as the postcards on here on the front and the back, and it features all 10 of the Sailor Senshi. After that, I got this really cool flameless candle that features all of the 10 Sailor Senshi around the sides of it. Uh, when you light this up, it illuminates and it looks really pretty. It takes two double A's, so I'll stick some double A's in here so you can see what it looks like up close and personal. And then it has that little moving candle flame up at the top that lights up. So this is LED based, so you can't light fire or anything with this, which is uh, very nice. I like it. Next we have a frame. So this is a photo frame that is filled with water and little glitter all over the place. So if I flip it upside down, you can see tons of glitter. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I thought this was going to be like a, I don't know, a four by three or something like that, but this is more like five by seven, I think is the size. Uh, but this is a really pretty frame. And then the back of it, is a postcard. Ta-da! So this is a postcard with the same art on it, which I might just leave in here and then display this. Uh, there is a Toei sticker on the front of this. I would have preferred it if they just left the Toei sticker on the box for this instead of sticking it directly on the photo frame itself. So I might just end up peeling that off. But this also says classic concert on it, and then you can display it wherever you want. All right, so I have two more items to show you today. Uh, the first is this series of acrylic stands from the Sailor Moon Classic Concert. I was able to obtain all 10 of these, and I think that's so surprising and awesome because they were so hard to find and get. And each of them came in a blind bag, so you didn't know which one you would get. 
but the reseller I found was able to acquire all 10 and sell them all together. So I have Usagi here and she's drawn in the same art. Then we have Chibi Moon, Minako, Makoto, Rei, Amy, Setsuna. Then we have Michiru, Hotaru, and of course Haruka. And Haruka has the biggest acrylic keychain of them all because she is on the piano, of course. Now I'm going to be displaying these all together as a set. I will not be using the little loop on them as a keychain uh, because chances are I would break it or I would lose them or dirty them up. And I think they're really pretty all displayed together. So I'll probably like get a little stand and decorate it, make them look all fancy. And the last item I got is the highly coveted uh, Sailor Moon piece of jewelry from the Sailor Moon Classic concert. They did have a few different pieces of jewelry and the only one I wanted was of course the most expensive one too. But this is based off of Neo Queen Serenity's tiara, I believe. Uh, but the neat thing about the jewelry from the Classic concert line is that it has little bespoke remnants of signs from music. So for example on here we have a couple of notes and I think that's really cute that they kind of represented that in the tiara. Uh, in the middle we have a really cute pink gemstone and then on the sides we have a couple of little clear gemstones which definitely look like diamonds but they are not. This is a very very dainty piece of jewelry and it's also very short so if you have like a thicker neck, you might want to get something that is a little bit longer, maybe replace the chain on here. Uh, the chain also feels like it could easily break because it is so thin and so lightweight. Uh, but the piece of jewelry itself is very, very pretty. It says K10 on here, so it looks like it's pretty good great quality as well. I think that's gold, right? So yeah, I'm definitely going to wear this because I don't always like to wear big, big things like this. Sometimes I like to wear dainty things as well. And it did come in this really cute little display box too that looks like a book. So that is everything from the Sailor Moon Classic Concert of 2018 that happened over in Tokyo and Osaka. I hope you enjoyed checking out all the merch that I was able to get from there, and I'm super excited because all of that was limited edition. Uh, if you have questions about any of it, make sure to put those comments below, and if you want to see further information about any of those products too, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and like this page if you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs, and I'll see you next time. Johnny.